In this tutorial, you'll create an image in Adobe Photoshop for use on different social media platforms. You'll be introduced to Photoshop basics like working with photos, filters, adding text, and exporting. You can apply these skills to making images for different social media platforms, websites, and much more. To start your project, you can use the sample image available from the tutorial page or a photo of your own. Choose File, Open, and navigate to the image. Select it and click Open. By the way, a great place to find images for use in your own projects is Adobe Stock. Over here in the Libraries panel, you can search millions of images in Adobe Stock to download directly in Photoshop immediately. To make the most of Adobe Stock from within the desktop products, learn more in other Adobe Learn tutorials at adobe.com. We're going to be adding some text on top of this image. Now, a colorful, contrasty photo can actually compete with the text, so we'll first blur the photo using a Photoshop filter. Choose Filter, Convert for Smart Filters. In Photoshop, you need to use Smart Filters so you can edit the filter. Otherwise, you won't be able to change the filter later. Click OK. Now we'll apply the filter. Choose Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. In the dialog box that appears, change the radius value to blur the image to your liking, and then click OK. In the Layers panel, you can double-click the Gaussian Blur you see here to edit those settings later on. Let's do one more thing to make the text we're going to create more readable. We'll create a translucent circle on top of the photograph to offset the text. We'll make a new layer for the circle so we have the editing flexibility we need to make the circle translucent. Choose Layer, New, Layer. In the New Layer dialog, name the layer Circle and click OK. Now we'll create a circle on this empty layer by filling a selection with color. Click and hold down the Rectangular Marquee Tool and select the Elliptical Marquee Tool. Hold the Shift key down as you click and drag in the design to make a circular selection. Release the mouse button and then the key. The Shift key makes the selection a perfect circle. In the Swatches panel, select the light color. Choose Edit, Fill, and choose Foreground Color. The foreground color is used most of the time when you use type tools, painting tools, or the shape tools. Click OK. Select the Move tool, and with the new layer still selected, drag the circle to position it in the image. Choose Select, Deselect. To add an artistic effect to the circle, we'll adjust the circle layer so it's partially transparent using an Opacity slider. Click the arrow to the right of Opacity in the Layers panel. This slider lets you make the circle as transparent as you need. Drag the slider until the circle looks good to you. Now we'll add some text to our design. Select the Horizontal Type tool. Go to the Tool Options bar up here and select this size. Type in a new value and press Enter Return so you can be sure to see the text initially. Click somewhere in your design, type Farmers, press Enter Return, and type Market. Select the text by dragging over it. Choose a font from the menu here, picking any font you have. If you're a Creative Cloud subscriber, you have access to Typekit. Typekit is a service offering access to a vast library of fonts for use in desktop applications and on websites. Align the text to center by clicking the Center Text button here. To change the color of the selected text so it's more visible on the light circle, click a dark color swatch in the Swatches panel. Now we'll move the text into place. Select the Move tool and drag the text into the center of the design here. A temporary magenta guide might appear telling you it's aligned to center. Now let's save our project. Choose File, Save As. Make sure to save it in the Photoshop format with layers checked so you'll have a layered file you can reopen for later editing. Then click Save. Click OK. Once done, we can easily export the image so you can upload it to your blog, Facebook, website, or wherever you need it. Choose File, Export, Quick Export as Ping. Choose a location and click Save. We now have our image ready to go to put up on our social media sites, websites, or wherever you need.